Hello and Namaste. In this video, I'm going to talk about crop, pan and zoom effect which was added in Hit Film Express 15 in August 2020. My name is Brijesh and I welcome you to my channel. Hit Film upgraded Hit Film Express from 14 to Hit Film Express 15 in August 2020. This version is free for download for anyone and you can access the link in the description below. Before upgrading to HitFilm Express 15, I was using HitFilm Express 14 with some purchased add-ons. I just upgraded to HitFilm Express 15 version without having to pay anything extra and without any issues. Without wasting any time further, let's move on to the tutorial now. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss useful videos in the future. As you can see, I have already copied a video clip onto my composite shot timeline. Just to let you know, you don't necessarily have to create a composite shot to use crop, pan and zoom effect on your videos. HitFilm allows you to use this effect on editor timeline as well. But creating a composite shot gives me flexibility in editing the video. That's the reason why I choose to edit in composite shot timeline. In order to use crop pan and zoom tool, just search crop on the effects panel. You will see crop pan and zoom option there. Just drag it onto the timeline in your video clip in this way. As you drag the effect onto your timeline, you will notice two new buttons on the video clip in the viewer window. Just click on crop, pan and zoom option under effects tab to activate crop button on the viewer window. You can select the portion of the video you want to show by dragging the gray box on your video clip. You can also drag the rectangle box around your clip. You can choose to either select or unselect the auto zoom option by clicking on the checkbox. There are some more aspect ratio options available for you to choose from if you need to. If you select custom options, you will see a drop down where you will be able to change height and width of the area to show in your video clip. You can do it by dragging the rectangle box as well. Select the area you want to crop, select auto zoom and hit the play button. You can just play around with this tool by yourself. Now let's move on to pan and zoom. Hit on pan and zoom button in the viewer window. You will see a green rectangle box. You can drag or resize the green box. This green box shows the starting view and red box is the area towards which the view will transition and finally end. Let's see it in action by hitting the play button. You can also readjust the area to show by moving the rectangle boxes by dragging them around. You can also use this effect to zoom in and zoom out. There is one more button next to pan and zoom button which is the reverse motion button. Just click on it to change between starting and ending points and then hit play button. 
you can try it yourself. You can also add or delete keyframes here. To add keyframes here, just drag this few frames forward into your timeline and click on add keyframes button. You will see a gray rectangle here which you can drag wherever you want. Don't forget that you can always resize this rectangle as well. Move forward few frames again into your timeline and again press the add key frames button. Do it as many times as you need to. When you have set the required keyframes in your video, just hit the play button and you will see that the video clip will move through the selected keyframe area in your clip. If you have to delete the keyframe, then drag this slowly into your timeline and you will notice delete keyframe button activated at some point. Stop right there and click on delete keyframe button. Repeat this for all the keyframes that you do not need anymore. So guys, this is how you use crop, pan and zoom tool. Please do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, it will motivate me to make more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video.